These are the Roka X1 goggles. They're about 27 bucks direct from the website, so they, they didn't break the bank. The packaging is nice, um, nothing to shake a stick at, nice matte finish on there. Gives you information about the goggles on the side. Now this is the X series and it, it, it says it's an expanded field of view for maximum comfort. And the reason that I went for these is because I have a large head and most goggles look very tiny on me and I, I didn't want that anymore. I'm coming from a pair of tier goggles, TYR, that I just bought off Amazon. This is the first pair of like actual goggles that I bought for triathlon training. They've done the trick. Uh, I've had no issues with these, so it's great starter goggles. I wanted something a little bit larger and maybe more comfy for my ginormous noggin. I went on the website and looked at a couple of different models. They had the S series, the F series, and then I saw the X series and how big they were in comparison to the other ones. And I was like, I gotta give that a shot. In the box, they send you this really nice envelope with the packing list. It also comes with, ooh, 20% uh, off coupon codes. I can give out coupon codes to friends and family with uh, these that came in with the goggles, so. It comes with two different stickers, a dark and a light Roka sticker. These are nice, I might put these on my water bottle. Now let's get into actually opening the goggles. And here they are, the Roka X1s. Let's peel off this film together. Oh, so satisfying. This pair is the Cobalt Mirror version. There's some additional items, I think, in this, in, in this packaging. It looks like this is like a microfiber carrying case. That's nice, so, so everything doesn't get too scratched up or worn when traveling around, so. And just a little product information fold out. Uh, so just the initial thought on the build, very sturdy. This is just a fixed, uh, nose bridge piece for the nose, so there's no adjusting that. But I don't think my eyes are gonna be weird enough to not be able to fit in these. Um, the, the material around the eye is good. I mean, it feels, it, it feels like there's a lot of quality in here as compared to like the, the, the little entry set that I have. Nothing against here, but I mean, uh, at this point it feels like I, I'm getting what I paid for. The strap, I like the bright colors. I didn't know that it was gonna be this, this bright color, uh, which I'm fine with. Like visibility while swimming in open water is always a good thing. It's much, much thicker and sturdier feeling than the kind of flimsy uh, material that, working, that I'm working with with the tear goggles. Definitely a confidence booster that it's not gonna snap or anything while swimming. Just a standard sizing clip here. And let's see how, let's see how they fit. Advertised for maximum visibility and comfort. Look how huge these things are. They're huge! I love them! Look at how tiny these are. That's, that's the tier ones. And this is Roka. I gotta say, they're really comfy. It always just feels kind of weird when the goggle for me sits right in the, like in the inside of the, of like the eye well. And, and these, the, these edges here are kind of a little bit more um, aggressive than these. These are nice and rounded and just kind of gently rest on the whole of the uh, facial structure. These, these feel great. I'm anxious to get a swim in with them. These are kind of mirrored, polarized goggles, and then these are much darker. So these are gonna block a lot. These are already blocking a lot more light. But I mean, the visibility is fine. I mean, obviously I've got a large field of view. Um, not anything noticeably different than these standard goggles. They feel good, I like the way they look. Let's put on, I wanna put on my swim cap and see how they feel with the swim cap. This is my whale swim cap. They make swim caps for people with extra large heads. So I'm gonna try it under. Usually when I go open water swimming, I wear, this, I wear the strap under the goggles. So we'll try that 
with how I'm gonna primarily be using these. Uh, feels good. The strap isn't noticeable underneath the cap, so good to go there. Yeah, so that's everything that's in the box and my initial, my initial impression of the build and the you know out-of-the-box quality. And next is to get a swim in and see how they feel. So I'll see you after that and let you know what I think. First time out with the um, Roca X1s. Gonna try an open water swim this morning, see how they do, and I'll let you know what I think. First swim with the goggles feels great. I can see everything. The color definition, like in all the waves and the skyline clouds, everything is like really defined. So I really like this tint. Um, they feel great. Uh, nothing's leaking. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to use them for the first Olympic triathlon. Here's Jesse Fry out swimming with me today. Got a GoPro out here? Yeah. He's a, he's a much faster runner and biker than I am, but I've got swimming, so I'll take that. <laughs> okay, first swim uh, in the Roca X1s. Honestly, I love them. They feel great, nice and comfy. I, I might have worn them a little bit tight, and so the suction on my eye cups was a little bit, um, did feel a little aggressive. I didn't use any anti-fog. They didn't fog up as bad as like a smaller set. There was a little bit in the corners around the outer edges uh, and the outer bottom edges of my sight. But this specific tint was awesome. When I, when I put them on, especially in a, in a lot of sunlight, everything just seemed more defined. The edges of everything that I could see were, were sticking out very well so it made spotting really easy in good light so as far as performance goes when spotting in open water they were awesome nice wide field of view yeah they felt felt great no complaints they fit uh they fit fine no leaks didn't have any leaking or anything definitely recommend picking up a pair if you want to check them out the roca X1s, not really much else to say. I mean, got a chance to use them, see how they performed, and uh, they feel good. Couple spots here and there. I would just say next time, I'm probably gonna just take a good old right on the inside, rub it around, just to kind of help with the fogging. For guys with large heads, this is, this is a nice option for you. Won't break the bank. Nice quality build, so yeah. Uh, if you're in the market for a new set of goggles, definitely consider the Roca X1s. Uh, just a disclaimer, uh, this is my own personal review of these. I bought these with my own money. I'm in no way, shape, or form sponsored by Roca, but I'm open to the option if anybody from Roca is watching this. If you need any late 30s mediocre triathletes to try out your gear, I'm your guy. If there's any other stuff you'd like me to review from any other triathlon product company, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna keep buying new gear and kind of giving you the rundown on what I think of this stuff. Uh, yeah, that's it. So if you like the video, leave a comment, uh, hit the little subs subscribe -y thingy uh, with the little bell if you wanna be notified when I'm uploading. I appreciate you watching um, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go take a shower. All right, let's get these miles.